Korea's prosecution has launched a probe into allegations the former conservative Im Yong Bak government used the country's intelligence agency to politically sabotage the mayor of Seoul. It's part of a widening internal probe into irregularities under past administrations. Kim Min Ji with the details. Prosecutors on Wednesday launched a probe into an alleged smear campaign against Seoul Mayor Park won soon by the National Intelligence Service under former President Lee myung bak This comes a day after the Liberal mayor filed a complaint with Seoul prosecutors seeking an investigation after an internal NIS task force found documents from E's presidency between 2009 and 2013 that labeled Park as pro-North and left-leaning, as well as plans to block his major policies and orders to look into his personal allegations. The documents and the implementation of the plans were aimed at not only suppressing me and my family, but also the youth, non-regular workers, staff of the Seoul city government, and Seoul citizens. We could not even dream of cooperation with the central government during Lee's presidency, and every policy we tried to push forward was rejected. The latest revelation comes as the NIS task force widens its investigation into the spy agency's alleged interference in politics and other irregularities under the previous conservative government. Most recently, it shed light on a new blacklist of prominent cultural figures and artists that banned them from mainstream media due to their views that criticize the government. Former President Yi hasn't officially commented, but reportedly expressed displeasure, saying that he won't react to every single political event. Prosecutors plan to call in those involved for questioning, but it remains to be seen whether the former president himself will face investigation. It's expected to take some time for prosecutors to secure enough evidence showing that he was aware of the matter or that he gave direct orders to the agency. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.